Welcome friends. In the next lesson, I want you to write a story. So you choose any topic and write a story of no more than 500 words that ends with um, a particular phrase. In this example, I'm going to show you a story that ends with the phrase, honesty is the best policy and it's within 500 words. So you take it, take it up as an assignment, um, write a story and type out the story of not more than 500 words and I'm going to show you how to do a spell check and also how to insert comment in that story so I'm going to open here so in this story let's see the uh, breakdown of the story so I'm going to have a story so we'll write a story we'll write a story that ends with the phrase honesty is is the best policy so this will not be not not more than 500 words so in the main characters in this story will be the driver mr damo mr sam the businessman Radio presenter Ms. Ada, Ms. Mr. Sam's secretary Aisha Amina, and uh, it's expected that if we're acting this story, it shouldn't be more than 30 minutes. So, based on this information, I'm going to show you the story that I wrote. So, this is a story that I wrote, it's a one page story, and um, you can read through it. This will be shared to you, uh, with you. And read through it, and um, so I'm going to remove this title so that I will have my appropriate word count since I already have my description in a different place. So I'm, I'll pull that out. So you can write any other story, choose a story that you want to write, maybe something like my first day in school, and um, how I celebrated my holiday. I want you to pick up a story and write it not more than 500 words so how do i how do you check first of all how do you check the number of words so you go to uh, review so when you go to review um you look at word counts so click on word count so the word count will tell you the number of pages it will tell you the number of words so you can see mine is below 400 then it will tell you number of characters, no spacing, it's 1607, character with spacing is 1966, then you have, so if you're counting the characters alone without any spacing, you have 1607, if you're counting the characters with spacings, you have 1966, then the total number of paragraphs is 12, and the total number of lines is 41, so there are 41 lines in this story so my word count is less than 500 that's one then i could do a spell check so under this review menu i could do a spell check so the spell check takes my entire document for any possible error so you can see i have a word adamo here the system doesn't know adamo so adamo is fine for me so i just said you should ignore it then here it has find mistake it said it should be a dot so I said fine, change all, I'm going to find this thing. and I said my article is good to go, it's good to go. Then the next thing I want to show you is um, when you submit this example to your teacher, the teacher could add comments to this, to this um, article. The comment could be uh, maybe the teacher may want you to remodify a particular paragraph or to make some corrections or to um, remove some things so how do you add comments so for example if i find that this particular paragraph is having issues i could just highlight on it or i could just click on the last page or just uh, the last uh, after the last word or just highlight on it then i'll see where i have new comments so when i when i click on it it opens here so i will type something like modify this paragraph modify this paragraph to be more interactive so I could write a comment that 
I will spoil it to do something to improve on this. And once I've done that, it, the, the comment has automatically been inserted to this. Then, of course, um, uh, if you've modified on it, you could also come back here and reply this by saying um, it's done. It's done. And once it's done, it can be reviewed. And once everything is okay, then I can mark this comment as being done. So you could insert a, a comment in a paragraph to enable the auto um, work on either a section or the entire document that he or she has. So I think that's something you can do. Then of course you can explore it more so um, and, and do better formatting in order to get it done. So there's another thing here too that you can also set uh, which is tracking changes. When you write a document and you submit it, you know, it could be previewed by many people. So you want to keep track of changes that are made in the document. So what do you do? So you could just highlight on the entire document and click on track changes. So when you click on track changes, anytime this document is modified on, then of course the changes will be shown. So I'm going to close this document and save it. Close. Then I will open it again. So when I open it, okay. So let's see. So let's make changes to this. So I will come to this state paragraph and I'll add something like um, uh, he was in a state of this world. So you can see that the new changes I've made now is being on the line. So if I save this and close this document and open it next time now i'm going to go to review i could click on accept and accept to move so the system tells me oh this was the changes that was made do i accept this so i can choose to accept this change and keep it by clicking on accept this change or i could just come here and say reject I move to the next one so reject change will automatically take it out and once it's done then i can save it and i still have back my original document that's how to track changes that are made to your document thank you